Yo, what's up, people? Back, headed to get some work done. I decided to take the Chevelle myself. About to drop it off at a mechanic, you know, get it right. A few, few more touches, then we almost there. I drove it a few times, and uh, there's a few things that I needed. And, uh, you know, sitting, the car been sitting, and then it's still stuff I hadn't addressed. So, and then stuff I got to address again, you know, that's already changed and I got to get back to. But I got the, uh, I got a few things I'm going to go over and talk about. I'm going to show you that I, that I did one, being the exhaust, I did some changes to that. And I also changing a few other parts. So, but I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this car to the mechanic, and then I'm gonna check back in and give you an update. Man, that that's a nice setup. Nice clean Z71 pulling the the the, the Chevelle. He looking good. We ready? Let's get it. I decided to do a little changes to my exhaust. There's a few reasons why I made this choice, but I'll give you a little backstory on my exhaust situation. When I first purchased the car, it had 350 engine, 350 trans, and we had a uh, H-pipe exhaust set up. Not even sure what kind of mufflers, but, and I believe the pipe size might have been two inch. I believe, or might even been smaller. It might have been two inch. But my original switch up, I went with a X pipe exhaust, three inch. Uh, the company pipes, and I had their violator uh, mufflers. I also have a hooker setups. I dropped some pics so you can check it all out as I give you this audio. But the Violator was like their top their top series, meaning the loudest one. And it was like pretty, <laughs> pretty obnoxious, violent sound all the time from start to finish. You start it up, it's pretty loud at idle. It has a nice cackle, you know, uh, the nice cam sound to it but it was just a little too much for me i'm in a residential area where <laughs> it's pretty disturbing you know driving through and it's just always loud like i can't you know it's no no turn down you know it's always it's always up up and it's stuff you know so I wanted to go with a, something a little bit more milder where I still can get on it and have the super aggressive sound, but when I'm cruising and not, you know, heavy footed, it's, it's calm and especially at a, at an idle where I'm not, you know, waking up the entire neighborhood if I started up, decide to go for a cruise seven eight in the morning you know like i i didn't even feel comfortable starting up the violators that early so i switched to race pro which is like the middle i believe uh the other one is called street street pro if i'm not mistaken but i went with race pro and uh i got that switched over and I'm pretty happy with the sound, you know. I'm going to show you a little bit of my clips of getting it done. And I did a little, show a little bit of the underbody. And I got some before and after sound clips. And uh, here, check it out. Let me know what you think, you know. Get in the comments for me. Let me, give me some some feedback, you know, on the before, the, the, the after, what you think. If you got, you know, big block, what kind of exhaust system you running, 
you know, you, you don't even have to have big block. What kind of exhaust you running on your car? You know, let me know.